testing the original spectrophotometer that I had, I discovered that it was a lemon. I couldn't set the wavelength on that machine, and so I sent it back to the company where I had originally bought it, and they sent me a newer model instead. And so this one works great, and it is able to do everything that I expect. This one is the Spectromaster 1100 UV slash visible spectrophotometer. It has a wavelength range of 200 to 1,000 nanometers, which is slightly smaller than the range of the last one, but it will be good enough for my purposes. It comes with software. However, I have yet to be able to get the software program to work. In case you are wondering why I haven't done any of the experiments that I've been talking about, I have hesitated because any experiment which I do would be meaningless without a device like this to assess the results. So I will be doing all of the experiments in the coming weeks now that I am able to find out which products were created from the experiments that I do. Um, as promised, in the coming weeks I will be conducting experiments where I will not only show the end product of the experiment, as well as the spectral analysis of the resulting solution, but I will be showing exactly how I did the experiment. I hope everyone will stay tuned because this is the exciting part. I will be posting an experiment video soon and thank you for watching.